In the last 21 days, everything changed. An AI called Aristotle solved a 40-year-old math problem. DeepSeek cracked another. And yesterday, I watched Fields medalist Terence Tao use AI to check his own proofs. Mathematics just hit a tipping point, so I tried to push it further. I gave myself 24 hours, three AI models, and a folder of unsolvable Erdős problems. One has a $1,000 bounty. One completely broke my code. But this green check mark right here, that is a machine verified proof of a new mathematical theorem written entirely by AI. Let me show you exactly how it happened. Paul Erdős was the most prolific mathematician in history. He wrote 1,500 papers and left behind a thousand unsolved problems, placing cash bounties on the ones he found most beautiful. $5 for a warm-up, $5,000 for a nightmare. But the way we solve these is totally broken. Traditional proofs take years to check. Humans make mistakes. We miss things. Enter Lean 4. Think of Lean as a compiler for truth. In this language, mathematical statements are code. If the code runs, the proof is right. No ambiguity, no human error. The computer literally cannot speak a lie. And now AI can speak this language. My setup is simple, a Linux terminal running Lean 4, three Erdős problems ranging from solved to impossible, and three AI agents, Claude Opus 4.5, GPT 5.1 Codex, and Gemini 3 Pro. I am not the ver verifier, I am just the pilot. Lean is the judge. Let's go. First up, Erdős problem 379. In plain English, if n is a power of a prime, that prime power will always divide n choose k, the number of ways to combine items. It's a known result, but formalizing it in lean requires a type of valuation, a technique that measures how many times a prime factor hides inside a number. Standard for number theorists, tricky in code. I feed the problem to the AI. Immediately, Lean screams at me. Wrong imports, wrong modules, it hallucinates graph theory tools for a number theory problem. Confident, but wrong. So we enter the loop. I feed the error back, the AI patches, Lean throws a type mismatch, I feed that back. Five iterations of this, the AI writes, Lean rejects. But slowly, the red squiggles disappear. The proof structure emerges. It finds the right lemmas, aligns the types, and then I run lake build. No errors, no warnings, no sorry. In Lean, sorry isn't an apology. It's a cheat code. It tells the compiler, trust me, bro, without a proof. A file with even one sorry is worthless. This file is clean. The AI just formally proved a number theory theorem. One down, two to go. Now we enter the abyss. Erdős problem 64. Here's the question in plain English. Take any network where every point connects to at least three others. Somewhere in that network, there must be a loop, a cycle whose length is a power of two. Four nodes, or eight, or 16, the conjecture says you can't avoid it. No one has proven this since 1978. There's a $1,000 bounty. I'm not expecting to solve it. I'm expecting the AI to fail in an interesting way because that's what real research actually looks like. The first problem, just starting this in lean is brutal. We need formal definitions for graphs, for cycles, for length is a power of two. The AI proposes code that looks reasonable, but the moment we connect it to Lean's actual math library, everything breaks. 
the cycle definitions don't match. The graph APIs work differently than the AI assumes. Every attempt hits a wall. I tried five different approaches, six, seven, each one either fails to compile or crashes into some missing piece that the library doesn't have yet. But we didn't walk away empty. We left behind a clean formal statement and computational evidence that someone else can build on. And that's what research actually looks like. Two down, one to go. While our AI systems are struggling to build the mathematical infrastructure of the future, the physical infrastructure of the future is being built right now. And it relies on one specific material. The nominal all-time high of silver is toast. This current bull market is so different than the 1980 spectacle. This 2025 surge is the sound of industrial warfare accelerating. Each of the three major silver bull markets over the past 54 years have begun when this chart tops, and that's what it looks like today. Silver is also reacting to the AI robotics drain. Every single advanced technology crucial to the US versus China supremacy race, from the fastest servers to the sensors in every humanoid robot is built on silver. It's not just the best conductor, it's the irreplaceable catalyst for the future economy. And I am telling you all of this because the sponsor of today's video is tied to the do or die race between China and the United States, which is sweeping the world. And it is Humanoid Global Holdings, OTC RBOHF. Because humanoid robots could turn out to be, in my opinion, the most transformative in world history. Shares of Humanoid Global Holdings, symbol RBOHF, are available through interactive brokers, Schwab, Fidelity, E-Trade, and others. We are not just early. We are standing at the zero mile marker of what I believe is the most profound productivity shift in human history. This technology is demonstrating breathtaking exponential progress. And this earliness is precisely what makes it an unstoppable, unmissable mega event investment theme as I see it. The ultimate proof of the market's infancy lies in the current state of technology adoption. Limited real-world deployment. As of late 2025, humanoid robots are primarily in the pilot testing phase within structured environments like automotive, automotive factories. Humanoid robots are projected to account for a mere 0.2% of the total robot market scale. Humanoids are the quintessential early stage investment. And to capitalize on this window of opportunity, our sponsor Humanoid Global Holdings, ticker RBOHF, is one of the only public traded companies that is a pure play focused on this sector. Each of us gets very few chances in life to be at the inception moments of transformative industries, part of the birth of ground floor opportunities with global influence that will result in trillions of dollars of wealth created. Humanoid Global Holdings, OTC RBOHF, has publicly committed closed indirect strategic investments in five companies representing key parts of the emerging humanoid robotics ecosystem. Again, these startups are private, so there's no other way to gain exposure to them for the retail investor unless it's through Humanoid Global Holdings. Final attempt, Erdish Problem 124. And this is where things get interesting. The problem asks a simple question. Can you build any number by adding up distinct numbers from these buckets? So if I give you the number 50 or 100 or a million, can you construct it using only a unique mix of twos and threes? 
The full version of this problem involves complex density rules and infinite sets. It's still an open research question. I'm not trying to solve the whole thing. I want to solve a meaningful slice of it. So I asked the AI, prove that every integer greater than two can be written as a sum of distinct powers of two and three. The AI strategy is unexpectedly elegant. It doesn't try to be a genius. It tries to be a hacker. Step one, if the target number is even, the AI says, easy, just use binary code. Every even number can be built purely from powers of two, proved. Step two, if the target number is odd, the AI pulls a trick. It says, subtract three. If you take an odd number and subtract three, it becomes an even number. So you just build the even part using the powers of two and then toss the three back on top. On paper, this logic is simple. In lean code, it's a war zone. To make this legal, the AI has to define infinite sets, control inequalities, and ensure we never accidentally use the same number twice. It misnames lemmas. It confuses integers with natural numbers. It breaks the logic 20 times. Each lean throws an error. I feed it back. The AI patches the proof, fixing a bound, swapping a rule, rewriting a sum. This dance happens over and over. And then 19 hours into the 24 hour experiment, silence. The entire file compiles, no errors, no warnings, no sorry. The theorem can represent all is fully proven. 285 lines of machine verified code. Now to be clear, we didn't solve the entire open problem for all possible numbers, but we formally proved a non-trivial special case that likely no one has ever bothered to verify in Lean before. A year ago, this was a project for specialists. Today, it emerged from an AI human loop in a single afternoon. This is what the future of math looks like. So what actually happened here? One win, one failure, one breakthrough. And honestly, the failure part might be the most interesting part. We didn't solve any of Erdős's truly open problems. The thousand dollar bounty is still on the table, but that was never the point. Here's what matters. In 2020, writing a lean proof like the one we built for problem 124 would have been a research project, months of work by a specialist in formal verification. In 2023, it still would have taken weeks from someone who really knew what they were doing. In 2025, I did it in a day, like me, a YouTuber, an engineer, not a professional mathematician, steering AI through 20 iterations until Lean said yes. That's the shift. Not that AI is solving everything, it's not. We hit a wall on problem 64 that neither I nor the AI could break through, but the cost of attempting serious mathematics just collapsed. This is why Terence Tao is paying attention. This is why there are projects racing to encode all of mathematics into formal systems, because once the barrier drops low enough, the number of people who can try goes up exponentially. And somewhere in that wave of new attempts by amateurs, by engineers, by curious people who would have never touched theorem proving before, somewhere in there is the person who cracks the next big one. The tools are ready. The problems are waiting. So here's my question for you. What's your problem? Not metaphorically, literally. There are hundreds of unsolved Erdős problems, thousands of open conjectures across number theory, combinatrix, graph theory. Some are out of reach for decades, but some of them, especially structured special cases like the one we just cracked, might be one determined human and one AI away from falling. Everything I used is free. The lean code, the formalizations, the scripts, it's all in the GitHub repo linked below. The tools are sitting there. Claude, GPT, Gemini, Lean, MathLab. The problems are public. You don't need to be a fields medalist. You just need curiosity, stubbornness, and the patience to watch an AI fail 17 times before it lands on something Lean will accept. Somewhere in that giant list of unsolved problems is a theorem no one has formalized yet, a special case no one has checked, a conjecture waiting to become a theorem, and maybe you're the one who finds it. If you want to see me take another swing, or if you've got a favorite conjecture you want me to throw at Lean, 
drop it in the comments. I'll pick one for the next video. Every unsolved problem was once considered impossible, right up until someone or something solved it. Subscribe. Let's see what falls next. Thanks for watching.